guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an educational one. For those of you who have been on the fence about starting carnivore or following carnivore diet, I want to give you my five benefits that I have learned and have seen in only the first week of being a carnivore. So here we go. Let's dive right in. The first benefit is that it balances hormones. Yes, indeed it does. Whether or not you're perimenopause, it doesn't even matter. If you are a woman, our hormones are literally at a disadvantage when you're eating anything but carnivore and why? It's so interesting. For so many women, we have followed low calorie, low fat. We have starved ourselves. We have deprived ourselves. We have low energy, we have trouble sleeping, a gazillion things going on. And a lot of times when you go to the doctor, they tell you the reason these things are happening is because you're in perimenopause, you are just not eating enough, you're not exercising enough, go to bed earlier, all of these things. No, it's because our hormones are imbalanced. Now, I've been to my doctor many times, have had labs drawn, and my hormones always seem to be okay. They tell me, no, there's no issue. Okay, I find that very strange because all of the symptoms that I described and more were going on. The last week since I've stopped eating anything but meat, all of that's gone. I sleep well, I feel like my hormones are probably not 100% balanced, it's only been a week but I can feel a marketed difference. I'm not deprived anymore. My energy levels are much higher, much higher, and that is great. I don't feel the need to nap. I'm not jacking myself with caffeine. Coffee at this point is that morning treat for me. I That's all I'm doing. I don't need it anymore where I felt like I needed it. A lot of times too with histories of losing losing weight very fast, right? How many of us have been on, you know what diet I was on, Weight loss happens very quickly. And then what happens? We gain it back, right? We have been accustomed to eating low calorie and low fat for far too long. Hormones, especially women, we need the healthy fat. Fat doesn't make you fat in the absence of sugar. So I want you guys to do your research on that. Uh, it also controls uh, being on carnivore will help control the hunger hormones, the ghrelin and the leptin. Ghrelin is the hunger hormone. So that's the hormone that tells you when you're hungry. And when you are low calorie, low fat, your ghrelin is really trying to get you to eat more because a lot of us women eat way too low in calories and just sickening low in fat. Like I can't even believe the, I hardly had any fat in my diet. No wonder sometimes my hair felt dry, my skin, who has dry hair? Who has skin that is not smooth? I mean, that nails that break, your hair's falling out. That's low calorie, low fat. So we are switching that. I'm looking down because I have a ton of notes because I didn't want to forget anything. Uh, also, women's hormones rely on fat to run properly, especially for the thyroid. We, most women are like big salad eaters. We love our vegetables. We're taught to eat um, less red meat, more chicken, fish, and vegetables. Um, what happens then is our iron content can go down and a lot of women have anemia and don't even know why. For those of you who still get a period every month, you are losing blood every month. It's very important to keep your iron levels high. Um, it also, too many vegetables also, guys, contain goitrogens. Read that, it's G-O-Y-T-R-O-G-E-N-S. Um, and we also have low iodine because we're not getting the things that have iodine in them. So that's enough with the balancing hormones. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is that it's just easy. <laughs> it's literally easy. I could throw meat in a crock pot, let it cook all day and eat it at night. Or I could make a bunch of burgers and just keep them in a Ziploc bag and eat them during the day through the week. Hard boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, Taylor ham, bacon, like you can have pork and fish and salmon and all kinds of proteins. Um, but it just makes my life easy. It, it, 
literally, you don't have to track anymore. It's so freeing. You don't have to live by your alarm clock, setting it every two hours to eat. You just eat when you're hungry. And the kicker of it is you're not hungry. You, your appetite goes away. There's times where you're like, you know what? I feel like I could eat something, but you're not like, oh my God, I'm starving. Is it time to eat yet? This is ridiculous. Where's my fueling? Where's it? Blah, blah, blah. That all goes away. The next thing that uh, you can benefit from by going carnivore is that it helps detox the gut, right? Uh, our diet, if you are on the O diet or any other diet, um, you probably were having a lot of seed oils, a lot of junk, causing inflammation, leaky gut, um, all those problems. <laughs> You can detox with this diet. It basically works with the digestive system. Hear me out. Your large intestines is where your food ferments. And when you're eating carnivore, your large intestine gets a huge break, like a vacation. It really doesn't have to work so hard. So when that happens, your gut has a chance. Leaky gut is really when, you're, when you uh, cannot absorb the minerals and the vitamins that you need and everything, it kind of like leaks out. That's leaky gut. So when you heal your gut, you're able to then, re you can start absorbing everything that you need in your diet. Like that's the whole purpose of eating, to nourish the body. So when you're losing all of those things, or not necessarily even losing, when your gut doesn't function properly, you're not even getting it. That's why so many women are just not, not in the state of health that they want to be. Also, uh, my bowel movements are better, right? I was doing rabbit pellets every couple days. Sometimes I would like, I was just bloated and gassy. All the bloat is gone, no more gas, which is so crazy to me. I don't remember the last time I passed gas. That is crazy. I can button my pants and zip them now. And I'm like, oh my God, I feel my stomach going down. Uh, I feel less heavy after meals. You know, sometimes when you eat and you sit down and you're just like, whew, and you feel a little bloated and whatnot. My headaches are gone. I used to get some headaches. Thought it was my eyes. Apparently not. Apparently it was because I was eating like crap. Processed stuff, all that stuff, gone. Um, and just remember too, your gut influences every system in the body. It affects your heart, it affects your liver, your kidneys, your brain, your eyes, your ears, your head, like everything. Your skin, your hair, your nails, everything is affected by your gut. So heal your gut. All right. I think too, I read somewhere in, a, in an article, um, and I've been doing a lot of scholarly article reading, it said that you can reset your system by going on carnivore in two to three months. Your entire system can be reset. Then you can start incorporating other things back in if you want to. It doesn't have to be you know, forever on carnivore, although some people do. So the next one is going to be that calories still matter, guys. Now, some of you just hear me out. A lot of times we hear on carnivore, you don't have to count calories and all of this other stuff. While that is true, you can't go hog wild. You can't eat 10,000 calories in a day and expect to lose weight and feel better. It's just gonna make things worse. So don't follow the influencers that tell you, oh, just eat two big giant Kerrygold sticks of butter a day. They're gnawing on the butter. Like I get maybe down the line where that may come to play, but for those who struggle, I, I just feel like too many calories is just gonna keep weight on you. In fact, some people actually gain weight. So be mindful, choose cuts of beef or protein in general that have a higher fat content, right? your ground beef, your ribeye steak, your salmon, your sardines, those types of protein, eggs, perfect food. They have a naturally, all of those foods I just mentioned, have a naturally high fat content. And when you eat those foods, you don't have to be chunking down slabs of butter. You just don't. If you choose a protein that's light, so let's say you have um, a piece of chicken, there's hardly any fat in chicken, right? Even with the skin, it's not a lot. You may wanna add a little fat to it. 
But again, you don't have to start adding butter to your coffee, butter to this, mayonnaise, all that stuff. Just choose a fattier cut of meat and it's enough to keep you satisfied. You can, on carnivore too, you could start off like I did and have three meals a day. Try not to snack in between because every time you eat, we have an insulin response and we want to keep that insulin response low. We want to be sensitive to insulin. A lot of us are insulin, a lot of us, oh my God, I can't even speak. <laughs> we are insulin resistant, right? Um, and we don't want to be. We want to be sensitive to it so that our bodies don't store it as fat. Um, what else do I want to say? I also feel like this is like the end of dieting, if that makes any sense. It does all the right things, guys. It balances the hormones. It can reverse type 2 diabetes, chronic diseases. It can, it just, it's just the end all to all. And like I said, you don't have to be on it forever. I think the reason a lot of people stay with it is because they truly feel amazing. Labs get better. Hormones are balanced. You're not stressed eating with the clock and oh my God, I have to pack food and just like, just, just live and eat the way we were supposed to. That's all I have to say. That's your educational video for today. If you have any questions, leave them below. And as always, we are doing this together. You and me, me and you, whatever plan you're on, we're doing it together. But this is working for me and I am so excited and just wanted to share. I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day. Bye, guys.